Hello people, I just got done watching a video called uh, Jedi Mind Control on a Shoplifter and I, I really don't know what the big deal is but there's a ton of people that are kind of hating on the guy. Uh, vine, uh, let's see, Vinyl Survival TV is the channel name and it's a new channel and I think it's just this guy that works at the store happened to catch a shoplifter and he had his camera. And I mean, within the first five seconds, you can see that the that the guy was caught red-handed, and he was just trying to lie his way out of it and not fess up to what he'd done. And the guy filming was very calm, and he asked questions the whole way, and he just finally, at one point, he said, "Jose, go ahead and call the cops and lock the door." And then at that point, the guy drops his bag, and and. And no, it's not stealing. I didn't leave the store with anything. So, so you know, it, I mean, it's just obvious to me. And I, and I, I happen to uh, think that the guy handled it very well. He didn't. He didn't. I don't think he mistreated the guy in any way whatsoever. Uh, you know, he probably should have, maybe, possibly detained him and called the cops. But then. You know, I, I don't know, if you can, if the person can learn their lesson without getting the law involved, that's probably the best way. I, I, I mean, I had an experience where I caught a kid who was shooting my window out with a BB gun. I, I got a text message from a buddy of mine. Uh, I was just leaving the job site. He said, your window's been shot out. And then I get home, I pull up to my shop, I, I put fuel in my truck. Uh, as, uh, right next to the shop with the door open the trailers hanging out clear back in front of the shop the gates are wide open it's obviously th that there's somebody home what happens the kids come back and shoot the window again because the tent held it together it didn't actually break and shatter all over the place it was had the t uh, film the dark film uh, the sticky film so I went and and ran over there and I mean I knew what what, it ha what was going on because I'd already been warned that that had happened they must have ran out of ammo or whatever not had enough fun so I ran to, to the back side of the shop nobody there so I ran around to the front side of the shop and they were already two of them were getting on their bikes and one of them was was running so I just ran after him he went over to the neighbor's field and uh, I grabbed the back of his shirt and he just collapsed and bawled and pissed his pants literally and and I called the cops I mean I was angry I thought that, that was the best thing to do was just call the cops and then let them deal with it and they did deal with it but I didn't get anything out of it that was the whole point that I thought maybe I could get my window paid for and then the kids would also learn their lesson that hey that's not cool you don't screw with people's stuff you don't take people's things you don't vandal destroy people's property i mean that you know that it was a jeep a jeep window is what it was uh so that that's my take on the whole thing uh i just like to make this response and kind of stick up for the guy he's getting a lot of criticism and i i feel he he handled that completely professionally so thanks for watching and have a great day